As most Americans know, it is illegal for the CIA or any branch of the U.S. military to operate uh, domestically in the United States under posse comitatus. But there's also laws barring engaging in domestic propaganda. The problem is, to a great extent, our military and our country have been hijacked by the globalists. They brag about this on CNBC. They brag about it in The Economist that we've been captured by, quote, foreign banks. Now, notice the motto of Infowars.com. Because there's a war on for your mind. And I see this every day at PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com and other places our stories uh, get basically syndicated to, that if it's about the military... In any way, the certain type of posts get made, and, and it's admitted they're involved in this, but, but when I'm at work, in fact, I can do it here, you can log in and track the IP addresses. Many times, they don't even hide the fact that it's going to Department of Defense. I mean, people that criticize the Armored Corps of Engineers had a multi-million dollar propaganda campaign covertly launched against them. That came out in the local news. And again, our military more and more serves foreign powers. That's not a secret. Congress has been told NATO is in control. So this is really foreign interest doing this. Now look at this article. Image shows military spraying over Florida City. And then we've got links to our article, CBS News, about the Army spraying pesticides on major cities flying 200 feet above the ground. The military is involved in all these domestic operations now. The whole article links to where it's admitted. This was taken by a listener on Facebook. You go down here, and it's always standard. It's always standard. And then we'll find a lot of times it's the same person replying to themselves to create the illusion uh, that people are coming together against us. And so this is an info war against us by traitors. Look at this guy. That's what happens when you live by an Air Force base. Flanes, planes fly in front of clouds at low altitudes until they get permission to land. The next person. Laugh out loud, oh yeah, but those clouds were created by harp. Your common, your complete common sense is bad for business. If you keep posting like this, readers will stop chasing ghosts. So, and they go on down here to say the same thing, to try to dominate discussion. And these people will be on the clock sometimes, 24 hours doing this. Now, again, this is happening all over the country. The military is now spraying pesticides and Lord knows what else outside of their jurisdiction, on cities. They're running checkpoints. It's all in the news. But they say it doesn't exist. Now, again, we have links here in our article to our report that went nationwide. And where did it come out of? CBS Miami. CBS Miami. CBS Miami. Same C-130 spring in the citizen's photo. CBS Miami. CBS Miami. But see, their article saying how great it is to have the Army flying with C-130 spraying you with bug poison, so the Pentagon isn't hitting them. They are only going after us. And this is the type of garbage that we constantly uh, fool with. And then new readers come in and think, oh, maybe this is disinfo. They, they are targeting the childlike minds of the American people. And it's shameful. So I thought I'd show you a couple more articles. Here's the big uh, lawyer, Jonathan Turley, breaking down the, the fact that they're spending billions. And because it's illegal, Congress is now trying to legalize the practice of the Pentagon uh, engaging in domestic operations and psychological warfare, or shy ops as they're known. Oh, and here is USA Today. Their reporters got targeted in a psy op, and their establishment because they were critical of corruption by contractors in the Pentagon. Trillions, by the way, are missing conservatively. You can just look that up. So here it is. Misinformation campaign targets USA Today reporter editor because they dared criticize some things the Pentagon's doing, this foreign occupational usurper group, and all those that serve it and work within it now who don't speak out against it are collaborators with the New World Order. So... We've got to counter these PSY operatives, these PSY op officers, everywhere they are engaged in treason. A lot of these are foreign contractors, foreign corporations as well, uh, think tanks, PR firms. It's not just military doing it. But this is why the military is waking up internally, because they're being trained to confiscate guns. They're being trained to spy on people. They're being trained to PSY op, and they know it's treason. So keep it up, traitors. You're waking up USA Today even. You're waking up the military and the police, Okay. 
There's a lot of problems in America, but the average person in the military and the police force is good. And they are now seeing that we told the truth. So there it is. They are spraying poison all over Florida with U.S. military aircraft at incredibly low levels. It's all real. And your campaign to say that we're lying has failed. Again, the article clearly has all the proof right there. And they know it. They know it. In fact, even after we post this, they're going to say it's all a lie and that this didn't exist either. Okay? They think you're stupid. Wake up, get aware, start analyzing. They only can control you when you're half conscious and in kind of a dream state, a daydream state. Awaken out of the daydream. Awaken, awaken. Analyze everything. Look deep into things. They think you're stupid and asleep. They're operating on the surface. Defend the Republic. Defend America from the global banker takeover. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.